Hello friends, you're with the Lonesome Gamer and today I'm going to play once again Sentinels of the Multiverse. I've already done about I think about three playthroughs of this wonderful game which is definitely one of my favorites and now a few well maybe two weeks ago or so the latest expansion arrived, Wrath of the Cosmos. And you can maybe see here, it's still shrink wrapped. So, I'm going to open it, sleeve some of the cards, and then let's do a game of this. So, the game is set. And I'm going to play with three heroes. We're going to see. A new hero, Skyscraper. We're gonna see Ra from the base game with a promo card. Uh, the Horrors of Two Horizons. And we're gonna see Knife from the Vengeance expansion. The enemy is uh, Progeny. And just for your information, it has a difficulty of four, so it's pretty unlikely that we will kill it. And we're fighting at the enclave of the Endlings. Whatever that is. I want to read first a little background story for these, uh, for the characters and the villain. So, uh, let's see here, Skyscraper. Porcha Kirpro was a Torathian freedom fighter. However, everything changed when the Bloodsorn Colosseum manifested on Doctorath. The leader of the Bloodsworn took Porcha hostage, harnessing her size changing powers in the gladiatorial arena. After years of fighting, Porcha found hope in the heroes of the planet Earth. She joined forces with them, and they all escaped together. Now, Porcha fights as Skyscraper, the Proportionist. She wields both her power to change her size and mass, as well as a knowledge of subterfuge and skill with her links, which she uses to control and subdue her opponents. Okay. And let's see, we got here Ra, as far as I know. Dr. Blake Washington Jr. was one of the best archaeologists in the world, finding a previously undiscovered tomb in Egypt. Now, finding a previously undiscovered tomb in Egypt should have been merely another point on an already impressive resume. However, all his findings were surpassed when he found a secret chamber within the pyramid. Eluding traps and solving ancient puzzles, he eventually discovered the pyramid's true purpose. It was the final resting place of generations of heroes, all of whom had fought under the guise of Ra, the mighty god of the sun. Feeling himself drawn to a wooden staff, Within the chamber, he drew it from the ground and was overwhelmed as the secrets of the universe flooded his mind and body. No longer a mere man, he was now the next Ra. Sealing the chamber to hide its secret yet again, Ra stepped forth to combat the forces of evil. Nice. What about knife? Here we are. Paige Huntley spent five years in the Scottish Marines before being recruited by Filter to lead the bloc's new Spec Ops team. A decade's service in the interdimensional prison left Huntley with unforeseen abilities. The energy spikes that erupted from her body, doing millions of dollars of damage to the bloc, hinted that perhaps humans were not meant for extended stays outside of time. Never a quitter, she quickly recovered, 
re-entering the field armed with a customized filter power suit, close-range energy projection powers, and a new code name, Knife. The kinetic neutralizer, neutralizer yielding flawless execution. She began noticing sinister patterns in the timeless timelines, but was ordered not to interfere. So Knife abandoned her post to take matters into her own hands. Okay, it's interesting to notice that Knife is actually the nemesis of this guy here, Progeny. So the damage they do each other is doubled. And finally we have here our villain Progeny. From far beyond our galaxy came a spark of creation. It arced through space and drove into the heart of our planet. As cosmic events transpired, that spark was called to wake. Progeny was born, surging up through the crust of the earth. It knew it was it it knew its two directives. Its first command destroy. It can assume many forms and will make use of all of them to lay waste to its surroundings. Its second command was less simple, but even more important. It must prepare for the arrival of its progenitor. Progeny is the harbinger of the downfall of the human race and with it the multiverse itself. Whoa, that's a real challenge. Um, by the way, I'm missing these bigger villain sheets. I thought they were really cool and I expected them to be from now on in every expansion, but uh, here I couldn't find it. So this is Progeny here, Vassal of Destruction. At the start of the game, put Progeny's villain character cards into play, Vassal of Destruction side up, that's what we did. Shuffle the villain deck and reveal cards until a Scion card is revealed. I also did that. Uh, put it into play, shuffle the other revealed cards back into the villain deck. At the start of the villain turn, if there are any hero character cards with fewer than 10 hit points, flip Progeny's villain character cards. Cards? Weird. Hmm. Okay, at the end of the villain turn, Progeny deals each hero target 2 energy damage. Mm hmm. Fine. Okay. Yeah, I think. Okay. So, Progeny starts with 90 hit points. Skyscraper's got 33. Ra has 29. And knife comes with 30 hit points. An interesting point with a skyscraper is that she can actually change size. So uh, there are two other cards here a small skyscraper and a big one. So, and somehow. Uh, some of these uh, of her hero cards will force her to change size then. So let's see what that Scion card says. Scion of Blight. When this card enters play, Progeny deals each hero target one toxic damage. Then if there are three or more Scion cards in play, destroy one Scion card other than this card. The first time Progeny is dealt damage each turn, one player must discard one card. Hmm. Okay, so that means we all lose now one, except for Knife. She loses two because of this Nemesis thing.
Okay. Okay, so the villain starts and uh, <laughs> beginning of the end. Well, that's a <laughs> pretty impressive start, I guess. One shot. Destroy. Destroy three environment cards. Destroy three hero ongoing cards. Destroy three equipment cards. I think we are damn lucky that this card came out now. That, uh, yeah, that was just amazing. So, nothing happens at all. But, each hero target will gain two energy damage. At the end of the villain turn. Yeah. So, and she gains four. So, this is really a problem here. She... She already has taken lots of damage here. Okay. So let's see, we start with, with Skyscraper here now. It says Proportionalist. Increased sonic damage dealt by Skyscraper by one. When Skyscraper's character card is switched to a larger size, Skyscraper deals each non-hero target one melee damage. When Skyscraper's character card is switched to a smaller size, draw a card. So, that's the first thing we do. And then we can use a power. And I have this one here, Surveillance. Draw two cards. So that's simply what I'm doing now. And then we come to the draw phase and I can draw another card. And this is then the end of the hero turn. So this is not so bad that she can draw that many cards uh, because of this Scion of Blight. The first time the progeny is dealt damage each turn. One player must discard a card. So that might be her then, I guess. Okay, we, we don't have a bad start, actually. This is the Staff of Ra. When this card enters play, Ra regains three hit points. That's a good thing, because he just lost three hit points in the first turn. So that is definitely a good start. Increase damage dealt by Ra by one. And there is this power. Ra deals one target, three projectile damage, destroy this card. Well, we don't want to do that. Um, then it says here, draw three cards, discard two. That's Sunrise, the power here. Let's see what we got here. Interesting cards. Ongoing Ra. I think we already have that card on our hand. Yeah. So. <clears throat> I guess I want to keep that card now. I'm not sure how many small hit point cards will show up. So I'm gonna take this one, the Living Conflagration. Let's see what if that helps somehow later on. And then it's Knife. Actually I realized I made a, I made a mistake when um, the Nemesis rule says that the damage is increased by one, not that it's doubled. So that means that uh, she would not, um, knife would not take four damage, but only three. So she gains one life point, makes it better. Okay. <clears throat> 
So I played this card here, the Focusing Conduit Blade. Increase energy damage dealt by knife by one. Knife deals one target, three energy damage. Destroy this card. When this card is destroyed, you may play an equipment card. Okay. So right now, I keep this card. And I will use this energy lance here. Knife deals one target, two energy damage. So it is then increased by one. That's four. And, in addition, it is increased by one, no, it's three, and then uh, it's increased to four because of, um, of the Nemesis rule. And then I have to discard a card. Okay, now we come to the environment turn. And by the way, I'm, I'm a little late now. If you haven't, if you don't know the rules of this, Please watch the first video I've made about this, uh, simply uh, Sentinels of the Multiverse. There I explain everything in detail. So we draw the first environment card now, and it says Bahusto, Basto. Okay. Mm -hmm. At the end of the environment turn, this card deals the non environment target with the lowest hit points, one melee damage. A target dealt damage this way cannot deal damage until the start of the next environment turn. That is a very bad card. That completely sucks. So this guy has seven hit points. Oh man, that's a problem because now it's the end of the environment turn and that means oh, that's 25 yeah it's, huh? I'm not sure. yeah it's definitely her so she is now right now our strongest character she takes one damage and that means she cannot fight back in this turn which is absolutely a real penalty now shit okay um, well, next card here of, uh, of Progeny, Time of Tribulations, increase damage dealt by Progeny by two, what, at the start of the villain turn, destroy one equipment card belonging to each player, then destroy one Scion card and this card. Oh, my goodness. This guy is tough. No doubt. Then she deals two damage to each target, to each hero target, which means four damage. So, oh boy. Uh, and five to her, actually. Ugh. Hmm. Huh. My goodness. Okay. And then it's the hero turns. Okay, so I, I want to get rid of this card. This Basto. This is a really dangerous guy. Um, destroy one equipment card belonging to each player. So that means that we will lose this card anyway. Um, let's see. Play this card in front of a target. Reduce the first damage dealt by that target each turn by one. At the end of this turn, that target deals itself one lightning damage. Hmm. I'm not sure if I want to do that.
Problem is we don't have anything. That would be four damage. Huh. Five. That's not enough. Okay, so Skyscraper. She's gonna play that one here. The Cortex Hyper Stimulator. Play this card in front of a target. Reduce the first damage dealt by that target each turn by one. That's cool because this thing does only deal one damage, one melee damage, so it would not deal any more damage. So basically, it's uh, for now it doesn't would not have any effect for the game. At the end of this turn, the target deals itself one lightning damage. Okay. And then we can do this surveillance thing here and simply draw two cards. And draw another card. Then it's raw. And well, let's see. Um, what, what, what is that he can do? Filling ongoing cards. Well, there is only one right now. I think I will simply play this card. This is pretty awesome here. Blazing Tornado. Radius 1 target, 3 fire damage. That's cool. So we're gonna play that card and that means we can now use this power and attack progeny and that man means she takes four damage because we can also use the staff Yeah. Okay. So here we go. And we can draw a card. Then finally, it's knife. And I think she's going to play this card. The Kinetic Neutralizer. Increase damage dealt by knife to the villain target with the highest hit points by one. So, here we go. And then we can use a power, and we cannot deal damage, so we have to use, well, yeah, we cannot use a power, actually. Okay. <sighs> Sorry, I decided, I decided something different here. I will not attack her with that power, but this guy here, because this equipment card is going to be destroyed, and then we have the same problem again. So we will, we should, we better destroy this card. So um, we can deal four damage to him, and. Of course, Progeny will then regain the four hit points. Okay, 
So that's the end of the hero term, and then we come to the environment term. And let's see. Oh shit. Immutus, 35 life points. The last four train. Redirect any damage that would be dealt to a target other than this target to this card. Ha! You're kidding. What? That's really a weird card. Any damage that would be dealt to a target other than this target to this card. This is completely crazy. I don't really get it. I mean, of course I understand the point, but I, I, I wonder what that is, what that's good for. Who gets the problems of this card? Well, okay. Hmm, interesting. Might be even good for us. I'm not sure about it. So, and then, this sucker would deal damage. Deals the non-environment target with the lowest hit points, 1 melee damage. A target dealt damage this way, so it's 1 melee damage for him. And then because of this card, this guy would himself deal also 1 damage. So he takes now 2 damage. What a strange card that is. And let's go on with Progeny. At the start of the villain turn, destroy one equipment card belonging to each player, then destroy one Scion card and this card. Okay, so what does that mean now? Well, this card is destroyed because it belongs to Skyscraper. And we lose the Staff of Ra, because it's the only card um, we have, the only equipment card we have. And here the Focusing Conduit Blade sadly just goes also away. Then, destroy one Scion card, and this card. Okay. Then we gotta draw another card. One shot. Form of the Harbinger. Reveal cards from the top of the villain deck until a Scion card is revealed. Put it into play. Discard the other cards revealed this way. Progeny deals each hero target one energy damage. Okay. So that means here we have our first Scion card, Scion of the Storm. When this card enters play, Progeny deals each hero target one lightning damage. Then if there are one or more Scion cards in play, destroy one Scion card other than this card. If there are three or more in play. At the end of the villain turn, play the top card of the villain deck. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That's a wild ride. So, what happens now here? First, this one, the form of the Harbinger. Each hero target one energy damage. That means that this guy takes three energy damage. Then, when this card enters play, each hero target one lightning damage. That means he takes three more damage. <laughs> Okay, then it's the end of the turn, so that means we got to draw another card. We have the Elemental Outburst here. Progeny de deals the hero target with the highest hit points, one fire damage, one cold damage, and one lightning damage. So that means we see, actually... Oh, by the way, because... No, it... Wait a second. 
Wait a second. Oh my goodness. Each hero target. So because that would be an additional damage for him, we gotta take away one more damage from this guy. And then we gotta remove four more damage because each hero takes one and she would have taken two then. Okay. Okay, so that was then this card here. Oh my goodness. No, that's not true. No, I think I did right, yeah. Basically what happened now is that each hero took one damage. No, that's not true. Each hero took one damage, she took two, and the hero with the most hit points took three damage. So that means he lost seven damage during this phase now. I think. And yeah, yeah, I think that's what happened. And then we come to this uh, end of the the, yeah, each hero target takes two energy damage. She would have taken three, so that's seven more. Okay. <clears throat> so that is then the... The end of the villain turn. So this is a good time not to play any one-shot cards or uh, cards that, that deal, one-shot cards that deal damage. Okay, we got here the Rebounding Debilitator. Play this card in front of a non-hero target. When that target would deal three or more damage, prevent that damage then either destroy this card or put it on top of your deck. So that's pretty awesome. In this way we might be able to prevent too much damage that does progeny to knife. Um, right now, yeah that would happen at the end of each turn. She would do to knife three damage and we can prevent that. And that's a pretty cool thing. Um, I think I really like that. And then I can use a power and I'm going to draw two cards. And I'm going to draw a third card for the draw phase. So, and it's Raven. Hmm. So this card is now increase all fire damage by one. Change the damage type of damage dealt by hero targets to fire. Uh, I think we want to do that. So basically that means that for now more or less all heroes would deal an additional damage I guess. And then I can draw three cards, can do the Sunrise ability and destroy two. Okay, with her I'm choosing... I wonder if I have to choose a... if I have to use a power or if I may use a power may choose to play one card, may choose to use one power. Okay, because I have only cards and powers that do damage, I won't do either. So that allows me then to draw two cards instead of one card at the end of this, uh, at, the, at the draw phase.
So that is then the end of this uh, of the hero turn, and we see the environment turn now. And uh, just a second. Yeah. Okay. Corruption. The last infector at the end of the environment turn. This card deals each non-environment target one melee damage. Then this card deals any target damage that way one toxic damage. Boo. This environment is pretty tough. Okay. So what happens then? First, this guy here. This card deals the non-environment target with the lowest hit points, one melee damage. That means that this guy takes now another damage because the damage from this card is redirected or the damage from knife would be redirected to Immutus. Corruption. At the end of the environment turn, this card is each non-environment target, one melee damage each. So that means that now each one takes two damage. One, two, three, four, so we see 8 damage and uh, well Immutus will probably die now pretty soon because of the additional toxic damage here it dealt 2 damage Whew. so this is then the end of this turn and I think it might be a good time to load this up now. Um, yeah. Honestly, I'm not sure. I think it's not looking that bad. I mean, knife is in trouble, but you know, we're, we're getting stronger and stronger, and these guys now can do a lot of damage. So maybe the environment cards are pretty dangerous. Not sure what to do with them. But, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. We'll see. So, I uh, hope to see you in my next video or on lonesomegamer.com. Until then, bye.